Okay, I am uh, working on two-step equations today. Uh, I'll be uh, getting problems from a uh, platform called Delta Math. It's uh, available for teachers, a very nice program, available for uh, assigning work to students. Uh, students submit answers online, you'll see that shortly. I'm also using a Promethean board to, uh, to do the work here. Uh, no financial compensation for that, just uh, acknowledging people that uh, help me out with lots of things. So I'm going to go over here and get a problem uh, to work on. Apologize for that sound there. And uh, so this thing asks us, hey, would you please tell me what number I should put in for B so that when I multiply it by 8 and add that onto a 56, I get 48. Okay, well, uh, you can always guess and check, see how many how many uh, eights you need to add to 56 to get to 48. You might be thinking, well, wait, you can't add uh, eight onto 56 and get 48. Well, maybe if you if you uh, use a negative number of eights, <coughs> let's try it out here. Uh, the the classic way to to solve these things is to say, look, let's get the b by itself on one side of the equal sign. Well, two things are holding up b from being by itself. One is this 56 sitting right here, and the other one is this 8 sitting right there. Well, before I can go getting rid of things, I need, I'd like to know how they got there. Uh, can we agree, I think, that, uh, that the, the 8 is multiplied onto B right here, okay? and then after that, we added 56. So we, we did two things. Step one, we would multiply by 8, whatever B is, and step two is we added 56. Well, I need to undo both of those things, uh, but to undo stuff, you kind of have to uh, undo them in reverse order of, the, of, what, of how they happened. So uh, uh, we multiplied first by 8, and then we added 56. So what we're going to do is take care of the adding 56 first. Well, how do you unadd 56? You subtract 56. So I'm going to subtract 56 from 56. A cardinal rule of solving equations, you probably know, is that you can't do something to one side of an equation without also doing it to the other. So here I go. I'm going to subtract 56 from that side. Okay. Uh, what do I get? Well, 56 minus 56 is 0. So 0 plus 8b. And I'm not even going to bother writing the 0 plus 8. I'm sorry, the 0 plus. I'll just write the 8b. Okay. And then over here, 48 minus 56 is negative 8. Okay. Uh, careful with the arithmetic. Well, now we've got this thing down simpler. We know that uh, whatever b is, it's been multiplied by 8 to get negative 8. So uh, how could I unmultiply by 8? Remember, I, I had uh, I'd undone adding 56. Now I'm going to undo multiplying by 8. And to undo multiplying by 8, we'll divide by 8. So we'll just put a divide by 8 down here. And then b times 8 divided by 8 just leaves you b. So I get b on that side, and negative 8 divided by negative, uh, I'm sorry, negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. So as you may have suspected, b equals negative 1 is the answer. So we're going to go back to delta math, and we'll type in a negative 1 here. And with delta math, you can click submit answer, and it asks you if you really want to submit that answer. Yes, and we got a check mark, which means we got it right. Okay, so I'm going to go to a new problem here, and uh, we'll uh, make this thing bigger, make a new page, copy it, okay, and here I am on this, uh, this new page, and now I'm getting W by itself, okay, so when it's all said and done, I want W on one side of the equal sign and everything else gone. Well. Just like I did before, I have I have something that's multiplied on there, and then after that I have something that's combined with it by addition and subtraction. So what I'm going to do is uh, just just like uh, you know you you're might familiar with order of operations, uh, PEMDAS, lots of different ways to think of that. We're we're basically doing that in reverse order. So before we can unmultiply, we're going to un uh, uh, this is a, a subtraction addition kinds of thing. So we're going to uh, add 8, there's some room here, we're going to add 8 to negative 8, 
and that's going to make it 0. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. But you're not going to let me get away with adding 8 to one side without adding it to the other. So here I go. Okay. Here, 32 plus 8 is 40. Okay. Over here, what do I have left? Well, be very careful. Okay. Very careful. And I can't believe I'm going to say this online, but I find that guys mess this up more than girls. We guys don't pay attention to this stuff as much as girls do. Kind of sexist, but sue me. Uh, I get negative 8 W. Okay. So now I've got kind of sloppy. Let me go back and fix that. Okay. Negative 8 W is what's left over. So don't lose that negative sign right down there. Okay. Uh, now, W, is uh, when you multiply it by negative 8, you get 40. So we'll unmultiply it by negative 8 by dividing by negative 8. Okay. That gets you W equals 40 divided by negative 8 is negative 5. So there's your solution. And the great thing is you could always check your solution by taking it and tossing it back in for the variable. Okay. So uh, I, I can always recalculate that and say, okay, negative 8 minus 8 times negative 5 and see if I actually get 32. Um, so I'm going to get negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 5 is plus 40. And sure enough, that's 32. Okay, so we got our answer. Let's do one more. Okay. Oh, wait, we're going to ty type in... Uh, what did we say that was? Negative 5. We're going to type in negative 5 on our uh, answer right here. Negative 5. Submit answer. Yes, I want to submit it, and sure enough, we've got a green check mark. Okay, we'll do a new problem here. Okay. There's my new one. Let's copy it to our software here. Okay. So now we've got T that we want to get by itself, and uh, everything else is going to uh, be on the other side. So Let's, uh, let's first deal with that negative h, just like we have before. We'll deal with the thing that's added or subtracted before we deal with the thing that's multiplied. So to get rid of a negative 8, let's add 8 to it. Okay. And again, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So now negative 8 plus 8, that gets you 0 here. So the only thing left on the right side is 2t. And then over here, 4 plus 8 is 12. Okay. Now, whatever t is, when you multiply it by 2, you get 12. So let's unmultiply by 2. By dividing by 2, you get t equals 6. Let's go check that, see if it works in here. t equals 6. Submit answer. Yes, I want to submit that. And we got a green check mark. Okay, so that's a, an overview of solving basic two-step equations. Thanks for watching.